Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I have come up with one of the interesting coding exercise. I am going to solve this coding exercise using PySpark and Spark SQL. As I mentioned earlier, Spark SQL is ANSI standard, so the same SQL can be used for any of the regular SQL coding interview. This is one of the lead code exercise. The exercise number is 1699 and the complexity level is medium. And in our uh, channel, this is the third uh, coding exercise in this series. And I'm going to solve this coding exercise using functions like case, uh, that is uh, when otherwise in PySpark, and greatest list. You know, these are the functions I'm going to use to resolve this problem. So I have already posted video about these topics. A case statement when otherwise I have posted a video video number 12 and coming to greatest versus least I have posted a video video number 50 in case you want to get more information about that you can watch those videos right let's get into the problem statement let's say we are having call history table which is recording the information who is the caller from ID to ID and what is the duration for that particular call? So this is the input table. So the expected output is we need to calculate the number of calls happened between two person and what is the total duration for all the columns between those two persons. So if you look at uh, the first two records, you know the call happened between ID 10 and 20 and 20 to 10. So basically it's the same set of people. So the number of uh, calls would be 2 between 10 and 20 and the duration the first call lasted for 58 minutes second call 12 minutes so overall it's 70 minutes. So coming to the second uh, set of uh, uh, people 10 and 30 we are having only one record and uh, its uh, number of calls would be 1 and the total duration will be 20 and coming to the next set of people. 30 and 40. Now we are having four records. In the first three records we can see 30 and 40 and the last record 40, 30. So the number of uh, calls would be 4 and the total duration would be 1000. I hope you understood the problem statement. As long as we know how to write group by statement in a simple SQL statement, you know, we can solve this problem. Because in order to get number of calls between two people, we can use count aggregate function. So for example, this combination, when we are going to take a count, it's going to give 2. And when we are going to use a sum aggregate function, then it is going to give total duration. So it's a pretty straightforward, but still, you know, this is uh, classified as medium complexity. Why? Because when we look at this uh, table manually, we can understand 10, 20 or 20, 10. Both are same set of people. But coming to programming engine, SQL engine, you know, it is going to treat both records differently. It is going to consider when we are going to group by based on from ID and to ID, then SQL engine will treat 10, 20 combination is different from 20, 10 combination. So this is the only uh, tricky point here. We have to start our analytical mind, you know, how it can be sorted out, how we can explain the SQL engine that both are same. So we need to find a way so that the SQL engine can understand, you know, these two are same or uh, coming to 30, 40 or 40, 30, both are same. So this is what we have to think. That is the reason this is, uh, um, you know, classified as medium complexity. Again, you now this is very simple. What we have to do is, first of all, uh, let me explain in case we are going to aggregate without handling that, then how SQL engine will consider this? What kind of output SQL engine will produce? Let me show that if you are going to blindly aggregate, without uh, uh, considering uh, uh, the combination 10, 20 or 20, 10, then what will happen is the SQL engine will consider this 10, 20 as a single record and 20, 10 as a single record and coming to this 30 and 40, here we are having three records. When we are aggregating, it's going to be 500 and the number of records will be three. So the SQL engine is going to aggregate only these three records into single and the rest of the combinations, it's going to consider as a separate combination. So this is the output that we are going to get. So, but this is not our expected output. This is wrong. So basically we have to 
aggregate we have to combine these two records and also we have to combine these two records that is our expected output so what we can do how you know we can explain the sql engine that these two records are same combination so for that you know there are uh, many different ways but i am going to uh, show you two different approaches in my exercise so first of all we have to you know there are uh, different approaches as i mentioned in one of the approach what we can do is always we can bring the lowest id you know between these two people always we can bring the lowest id to uh, the uh, left side and the highest id on the right side or it can be uh, the other uh, way as well you know we can bring the highest id on the right side and lowest id at the uh, left side you know we can uh, uh, change it. but the thing is the thumb rule is we have to follow the same pattern in all the records we have to bring the least value into this column and greatest value to the next uh, uh, column that is the requirement if we are going to make that then sql engine can understand and simple uh, group by select uh, group by statement will solve this problem so uh, as i mentioned you know for uh, whenever we are going to define certain pattern like you know we are all, all the least number we have to bring it to left side and the greatest number we have to bring it to uh, the right right side which means here you know uh, the engine sql engine will uh, compare the first record 10 20 the least that is 10 it is going to retain in the left side itself and it will uh, retain 20 on the right side coming to next record 20 which is greater than 10 which means 20 is greater so 10 is the least so it will bring the least to left side which means this 10 should come to left side and this 20 will go to right side and when uh, the sql engine is comparing the third record it's a least record that is already sitting in the left side it will ignore and uh, it's the same for rest of the records and coming to the last records again 40 that is the greatest value so uh, it will bring uh, the least value 30 on the left side and 40 to the right side now once we have produced this output then sql engine will uh, combine you know these two records into one record and this is a already unique combination and these two these four records will be aggregated into single record i hope you understood uh, what we have to do you know how our uh, analytical mindset uh, should start thinking so how we can uh, you know programmatically achieve this solution okay from this uh, table to this table we have to bring as an intermediate step how we can do for that as i mentioned you know we are having various approaches like case statement or we can go with greatest least we can go with anything so i am going to show those different approaches in my solution right as i mentioned when we have produced uh, this output simple um, aggregate function it is going to produce the expected output i hope you understood the problem statement and how we have to start thinking and what are the different solutions we are having in sql now let's get started with the demo i have logged into my databricks environment my cluster is up and running and the first step what i'm going to do is i'm going to create the sample data frame this is exactly same data set which i have shown in the uh, powerpoint let me execute so it's going to display uh, the sample data after creating the data frame now data frame got created here we can see you now uh, 10 20 and 20 uh, 10 now first i will uh, go with uh, sql approach then i can come back to pyspark approach because sql is uh, more common in most of the interviews so in order to uh, produce sql solution first of all we have to convert the data frame into uh, view or table so in the uh, step in this step what i'm going to do is you know the data frame that we created df i'm converting that to temp view so let me execute this step now temporary view got created let me quickly uh, check the data in my view here we can see it's the same data now we we have a view now uh, within sql itself i am going to show you two different approaches so in the first approach what i am going to do is as i mentioned in the powerpoint our requirement is you know, we have to swap uh, the ids you know we have to bring uh, the least number in one side and uh, greatest number in other side so that is what we have to follow so for that what we can do is i can use case statement in the case statement i am going to tell in case you know my from id that is lesser than 2 id then keep my from id as it is otherwise otherwise means 2 id is the lowest one if otherwise then else statement keep uh, 2 id as a person 1 on the left side and same i am going to perform with one more case statement if the from id that is lesser than 2 id here i have to take the uh, greatest one on the right side okay the person 2 so 
in case from id is lesser that is a least value then consider the highest value which is 2 id in case uh, that is not the case which means from id is not the is not uh, lesser than 2 id which means from id that is the greatest one then consider that one so this is the simple uh, case statement i have written so let me execute this intermediate step so we can see the output the execution is completed now here you can see now earlier this 20 was part of this uh, this uh, left side and 10 was part of right side now it got swapped without changing the value of duration and uh, if you look at the last record it's the same earlier 40 was part of uh, person 1 and 30 was part of person 2 now it got swapped now this is uh, very simple uh, logic now you know we can uh, uh, write simple uh, aggregate function which is going to uh, produce our expected output so the final query i'm going to create a, a common table expression so that i'm calling as calling it as ct1 so it's the same uh, exact code what i have shown in the above step then here i'm just uh, performing simple select aggregate function i'm going to group by based on person 1 person 2 and i'm taking count in order to take uh, in order to get uh, the number of calls between uh, same people and uh, some function uh, to get the total duration between those two persons I hope you are, uh, it's a pretty straightforward. I hope you understood. Let me execute. Then we can see the expected output. The, it is executing. Now execution is completed. Now here we can see. This is our expected output. So the number of calls between uh, person 10 and 20 is a 2 number of calls. And total duration is 70. Same for uh, 10 and 30. Number of calls 1 and total duration uh, 20. And for 30, 40, you know, we were having four number of records. So four number of calls uh, and total duration is 1000. I hope you understood. And I'm going to show you one more, you know, different SQL approach that is even simpler than this statement. So in my second approach, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the function least and greatest. Least, basically it will uh, take the minimum value uh, based on the list of given columns. So here I have given the columns from id and to id so it is going to consider the least uh, value if you if you consider the second record in our example so uh, this is our second record so 20 30 20 10 out of these two which one is least 10 is least and which one is greatest 20 is greatest so that is the logic i am going to use it here so least from id to id so always it is going to put the lowest number on the left side it will be called person one and using the greatest always the highest value that will be put on the right side that is person two then i am simply counting for uh, getting number of calls between two person and i am using uh, some aggregate function in order to get the total duration it's even simpler so if your mind started thinking any of these two approaches it's uh, it's uh, you know it's uh, soluble during the interview process so only thing is we, we have to get idea you know how we can inform the sql engine that those you know set of uh, um, uh, persons are same so for that we can use a guest statement or greatest list and there could be uh, different approaches as well but in this exercise i am showing you two different approaches now i will try to solve the same uh, problem using PySpark. But in today's you know, big data world, in most of the interviews, we are asked to write uh, coding exercise using PySpark programming also. So that's the reason I'm going to show how to uh, write logic using PySpark. So this is our data frame. Uh, now, based on the data frame, what I'm going to perform is I'm going to create one, in, one more intermediate data frame that is called a swap TF. Within that, I'm going to use a case statement. So in PySpark, we don't have direct case statement. Instead of that, we are having when otherwise. That is exact same functionality of case statement. So I am uh, producing a column using with column function. I am producing person one. The logic, this is the logic. So here I am going to tell when this uh, column from ID that is lesser than two ID, then keep that as it is. Otherwise, else, state, else statement, then keep two ID. And same, I am following for uh, second uh, person. Uh, in case from ID that is lesser than 2 ID, then this time we have to take the highest value. So uh, here I am selecting 2 ID. Earlier I, uh, I have taken from ID. Now here I am taking 2 ID. Otherwise, take the from ID. So then finally I am selecting the columns person 1, 
person to which I have created uh, the logic is just um, you know above the statement and the duration that's the third column I'm interested in so let me execute so it is going to perform same case statement which I have shown in uh, a SQL approach so here you can see now it has uh, swapped you know all the lowest number came to person 1 and the highest uh, number that uh, came to person 2 now simple aggregate function will solve this uh, problem so coming to uh, the next step I am going to uh, create final result TF so based on my intermediate data frame I am going to apply group 5 uh, function so in PySpark the syntax is group 5 I am going to group based on person 1 person 2 and I am going to apply aggregate function sum of call duration uh, and I am uh, calling that as total duration using alias function and also I am uh, taking count of person 1 you know, count of you know how many uh, calls happen between two people I am calling that as uh, call count then finally I am selecting only these columns person 1 person 2 call count and total duration so this is going to produce expected output so I am executing here we can see the output this is exactly what we were looking for so this is how we can solve this uh, simple uh, lead code exercise this is also one of the most uh, commonly asked interview question in uh, FANG and MANG companies I hope you understood different approaches with in SQL I have shown you two different approaches and also I have shown how to solve using PySpark I hope uh, you understood and enjoyed this video if you like the content of this video please like and comment in the channel and also please click on the uh, bell button to get the latest update on uh, SQL coding uh, series and data breaks thank you